1.3 Definitions Part 4. This time we're going to talk about cluster sampling. Now remember, everything comes down to money versus true randomness. Now, imagine if you invented a brand new MRI machine. All right? Are you going to, in order to test this out, put this brand new MRI machine into every hospital in a single city? No. That would be way too expensive. So here I've drawn a picture of a population and I divided it similar to the stratified one in that I separated it into a number of different categories. Now, the difference between cluster and stratified is when I do a cluster sampling and I've divided it into whatever the division is going to be, I'm only going to pick one of the clusters in order to do my testing. Again, it's cost efficient. I'm going to put one of these brand new MRI machines into one hospital out of the six different ones in the city and run my test on that one machine and compare it to the population to see if I have better results. A cluster sampling is a way in which you're only going to be doing sampling for one area and normally it's done for exorbitant cost. MRI machines are not cheap. So again, I divide up my population the same way I would divide up my population for a stratified. And then for each of these strata, though now I'm calling it different clusters, I'm going to select one of these clusters in order to do my testing. 